All right, roomies, this week we have some incredibly sad news to discuss. Over the last few months, the internet was set ablaze by the news that Nick Cannon had four children in the last 18 months, including a set of twins named Zion and Zillian with sometime girlfriend Abby De La Rosa. In June, Nick welcomed his seventh and youngest child, a baby boy named Zen, with model Alyssa Scott. The terrible news here is that baby Zen suffered from a brain tumor. The family announced he passed away from brain cancer at just five months old. Sources shared that Nick and Alyssa took baby Zen to the doctor at two months old when they noticed his head was enlarging. Nick joked that he didn't think much of it and that baby Zen simply had a cannon-sized head. I noticed like he's just the cutest little boy. He's like big eyes. I also noticed he's like, you got like a nice sized head. Yeah, like a, I call it a cannon head. Like all like all my kids got really nice round heads. A parent's worst nightmare became a reality when doctors said Zen had a malignant brain tumor that needed to be removed surgically. At that time, they were able to drain the brain tumor in his head. It wasn't until Thanksgiving time that the tumor got worse and started to grow a lot faster. Nick shared on his talk show that he spent some quality time with Zen over the weekend in California and even brought him to the ocean before boarding a flight back to New York City for his show. This was unfortunately the last time he was able to hold his youngest son. I got to spend, you know, the weekend with him, spend the night, and we woke up on Sunday, and I was like, I just feel like I want to go to the water, you know, and close to the ocean, and, you know, we kind of got a chance to go to the Ocean. In a teary-eyed moment on his show, Nick said Zen's mother Alyssa was the strongest woman he's ever seen. I really have to say uh, Zen's mom Alyssa was Alyssa was just ama- like the strongest woman I've ever seen. He also stated, I'm here to show that I can fight through this. I'm feeling it. I'm vulnerable. I'm open. This is a special show dedicated to my beautiful son Zen. So I'm here to show that I can fight through this. I'm feeling it. I'm vulnerable. I'm open. Y'all see y'all, yeah, but I'm going to make it through and This is a special show dedicated to my beautiful son, (laughs) This news comes right on the heels of another sad announcement. Activist and author Sean King's 19-year-old daughter, Kendi, was taken to the ICU after being hit by a car in Manhattan. In a heartfelt update, Sean shared that his daughter was moved out of the surgical ICU and has started physical and cognitive therapy. It's been a rough year for King's family as they moved out of their Brunswick, New Jersey home following reports from the New York Post about King's financial history. Sean asks that we say prayers for his wife, Rye, as she's been having an especially hard time with this. Roomies, we know this would be a trying time for any parent. We'll be sending some praise up for both the Cannon and King families as they get through this.